Hi, Don Campbell here with a tour of the Small Biz Options Panel. The Options Panel is your control center for your small business website. To access it, just go down to Appearance and Small Biz Options, and you'll be taken to a screen where you can modify all aspects of your website. Once you're on the Options Panel, you'll see a number of sections that you can work from. The first section has getting started videos, links to the user guide, the color helper, and other things to help you get started. Now the next section is where you start really customizing your website. You're going to want to start by choosing a header graphic. Now we provided a number of professionally designed header graphics for you to choose from. And we'll even match the color schemes for you for the navigation menu and the, and the body text. As you can see here with this green header, we've updated the navigation and some of the text on the site to go with the header graphic. Now you can override these at any time. And you can also upload your own header graphic. Just make sure that that graphic is 960 pixels wide by 150 high. Now once you've chosen a header graphic, let's say that you've got a graphic that has its own logo on it and you don't want this text right here to show up on the header because it's conflicting with your logo. That's easy to change, just check this box and we'll move that off the screen for you so that you don't have to worry about it conflicting with the graphic. In the next section, we're going to change the business information. Now, anything that I type in here will update my business name, address, city, state, and phone number that shows up on the main website. So if I go ahead and reload this, you'll see all, the, all of that information is displayed here, including the email address to contact you at. Now, there's two email addresses on this section. One is the, one, the, one is the email that is displayed in the header, which you can omit if you don't want to leave it. And the second is the email address used for the contact form. Now once you've entered your business information, here's where you can change the colors of all the navigation menu items. We've got links in most of these sections to post in the user guide with more information. You can also change the body background color and the page content background color. So for example, if I wanted to change this background color on my page from white to gray, I can easily go in, visually select a new color for my background, and save the changes. And my site is updated accordingly. So very easy to make changes like that in the site. Now, In the next section, we can change the home page layouts. Here you can select from 11 different layouts that are available with the theme. Changing these layouts allows you to quickly get a new look for your website. For example, I'll choose the slider layout, save these changes, and reload the website. And you'll get an idea. Here I've got an image slider layout now on the home page instead of the picture that I had before. If you don't want to use one of our preset layouts, you can actually assign any page to be the home page for the small biz theme. The other thing you can do is change all of your font options here. So in this case, I'm I could change the font family and size for the header or the tagline or the menus or any of the text on the site at any time. Very easy just visual selector to walk through and make those changes. I can also change the font colors with these convenient color choosers for any of the different areas on the site. Now once I've set up my header and chosen my layout, I can then go and change the text that's on the home page. Now these boxes will be different depending on which layout you've chosen. But this is where you can go in and modify the text that shows up right here on the home page itself. So this text right here is easy to change right from in the options panel. I can also upload a new image here. Uh, different layouts might have a slot for a video or different things like that. It's all customizable right from here. I can also change my location information of other cities that I serve. I can change the footer credits here and I can change the local directions that show up on the Find Us page, including my Google Map element. So these are this is information that you're seeing here at the bottom of the screen or on the Find Us page. I wanted to change this map or these directions. It's all right there in the Options panel, just in one easy place. You can also change my business hours from here and change the feature boxes that show up at the bottom of the site. The other thing that's included in the Small Biz theme are some sophisticated SEO options. And one of the things that we do for SEO is we include HCARD microformats. We also include 
business information on every page of the site. You can also override the homepage title and homepage description and keywords right from here. So if I wanted to modify for the homepage, the title tag and description SEO elements, I would do that right here in the options panel. Hopefully you're using Google Analytics. Now your Google Analytics code can be pasted right in this box in the SEO section as well, and we'll make sure that it shows up on every page of your website. We also recommend that you verify your website with Google Webmaster Tools, and we've got a box here for you to place your verification code. Now moving down to the next section is the mobile device page settings. It's very easy to mobile enable your website with Small Biz. All you need to do is check this box and will automatically mobile enable will detect which devices are coming to visit your website and display touch enable and pages appropriately. Here you can change the text and the image and the map that shows up on those pages. As an example, here's what it looks like. Here's what the mobile enable page looks like on an iPhone and an iPad with touch enable buttons for call and directions. You can actually add extra pages and modify those buttons as well. Finally, there's the Facebook's page setup. The Small Biz theme comes with a custom Facebook app that allows you to manage your Facebook page content right from within WordPress. All you need to do is create your Facebook page and then go ahead and click here to launch the Facebook app from Expand to Web. When you're in this app, you can actually choose which URL you want to display for people who have not liked your page yet and then the URL that you want to display for people who have liked your page. You know, it's this nice menu that will show up on the left-hand side. Here's an example of a page that's managed using Small Biz. Here's the Welcome tab, and this person needs to even put submenus inside so that they can navigate around inside of the site. All this content is managed within WordPress using the Small Biz theme. Now, another thing I want to show you is the ability to manage your menus. So if I go back to the Appearance section under Menus, You'll see that the Small Biz theme has created special menu sections. You get to choose the custom menu for, the, for your website, a different menu for Facebook, and a different menu for mobile. And you can create those right here within WordPress and assign them to the right section. The other thing that I want to point out is the Small Biz theme does come with um, a custom widget, and it allows you to modify, uh, put different widgets depending on, on different pages. So you can choose which widgets show up on which pages of the site. For example, you can have a default widget section, a different set of widgets showing up on your contact or your find us page or the blog page. You can even change the footer sections using widgets. In this case, let's go ahead and grab the small biz social media icon widget. And we'll put that here in the default sidebar. We'll just drag it over. We'll give it a title and then any of the icons that I select, if I put my URL for Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, those will show up in my sidebar in the default section now. So let me go ahead and hit save and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so these, the, what shows up by default is just, um, is just sample content until you go and create your own. But let me go ahead and refresh this and you'll see that I've added my own icons for only for the services that I care about that would link directly to my Twitter or YouTube or Google Plus pages. Now since Small Biz is, is based on WordPress, you, can, you have full access to posts. We can add new blog posts and new, and new pages as well. Now when I add these pages and posts, they'll automatically show up on my custom menus. And we also have the ability to override the title tag and meta description and keywords for every single page or post on the site using Small Biz. If you've got your own SEO plugin that you want to use, you can disable ours and use that. Either way is fine. We also provide a complete user guide, both in PDF and online formats. If you click on the user guide, you'll be taken to a place where we publish all of our articles. And it's almost like a knowledge base full of anything you need to know about small biz. If there's something here that you need help with that's not covered, just send an email to support at expandtoweb.com and we'll take care of you right away. Thanks for watching.